Kodai Senga moving to 3-0. and Didn't have his best outing. But what have you seen from him so far, Ron? Well, you know what's been interesting is that he even said it last night. You know, he didn't think it was going to be perfect coming out of the stretch um, or coming out uh, in April. But he's been pretty darn good uh, to me. Uh, he's shown all the pitches, I think, to get a lot of big outs. There's been a couple of issues. Of course, he's had a hard time keeping the ball in the ballpark. Five home runs he's allowed. He's walked probably too many hitters for his liking. But just think, I mean, a new country, new ballpark, big contract, trying to live up to all that. They throw on the pitch timer yeah. and all of those things. New baseball. New baseball, you know, all of those things, I think, uh, make it very challenging. But I've liked what I've seen so far. You can see this is what Look has kind this. of been the problem. And that's the ghost pitch, The right? ghost pitch, which is the fourth ball, is legit. I mean, when he throws it right, no one hits it. And as you can see, the numbers say that. He's just going to have to get a little better uh, with fastball command and his breaking ball. What sense do you have of why it's so successful for him, that ghost pitch? Why? What makes it different? What sets it apart? It's a great question. I think that when you see a lot of guys now, they have more of a true split when you think of Otani. His is really a fork ball, meaning it's a little slower in velocity, a lot bigger break. So a lot of the hitters have not seen it. Mm. So I think that's why it's so successful. But it is a dastardly pitch. I mean, when he, <laughs> when he lets it go, he, when he lets it go, it makes hitters uh, look foolish. New everything for him, by the way, just adjusting to everyday life.